a moment of triumph for Sebastian Kurz. Forced out by Parliament in May, now in September he returns with more votes, more seats and, he believes, a bigger mandate to govern. I would like to take this opportunity to sincerely thank all our voters. As a federal government, we were voted out of office in May. It was a difficult four months and today the voters voted us back in. Thank you very, very much for your support and thank you very, very much for your trust. Contrast that with his former coalition partners in the far-right Freedom Party, whose vote share has plummeted, seemingly punished by the people for the corruption scandal their former leaders plunged them into in the spring. It was an incredibly difficult election campaign, for you, for Herbert and for myself. We all had to carry our load, and every day another stone was added to it. The other big losers are the Social Democrats, who worked with their ideological opponents in the far right to force this election and have now suffered their worst ever result. And, uh... This is not what we hoped for. This is not what we fought for for weeks, day after day, and until the very last minute. I have to be honest and say we're not satisfied with the result. The wild card in the new parliament will be the Green Party, back in force after a period in the political wilderness and potentially in a position to join a coalition with the centre-right. This was an election Sebastian Kurz said he did not want at first, one he said his country did not need, and yet in the end one which has propelled him back into pole position to return to power. Dominic Kane, Al Jazeera, Vienna.